What is going on guys? Welcome to your 11th Coco City tutorial. I cannot believe you guys are still watching this series. Wow, it has been amazing, but if you are, we are making some real progress. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over repeating and easing. Two things that you probably don't know what they are yet, but by the end of this tutorial, your life as a game developer on the iPhone is going to be a whole lot easier because these are some things that you know you can do it one way and it will make it really confusing or you can use these simple methods I'm about to teach and it will make everything a lot easier so you know that's my introduction let's get to the coding so let's go ahead and make an action um, I'm just gonna name on A1 and make any action you want I'm gonna use CC rotate by and actually don't use any two action make sure it's a by because it'll uh, it'll make the examples a lot easier to see so let's go ahead and use action duration with angle so it's going to be a second long and it's going to be 360 just like that so now what I want to do is make another action and name this repeat act since what we want to do is take this action a1 and repeat it a bunch of times now what we could do is just write the action into a sequence and then you know yada yada you know no 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 there's a lot easier way to make an action repeat a given number of times and that is yes CC repeat how easy is that and for the parameters all you write is this action with action and for this parameter you write what action you want to repeat I don't know they, why they named it action with action they could just said action maybe that's parameter or something else I don't know and how many times you want it to repeat in this case three times so after this what we need to do is go ahead and write the sprites name chick and run action and the action we want to do is rept action so what this is going to do is take this action repeat it three times and then just run it so let's go ahead and build and run this and now that my iPhone stimulator is running and now when I press the button check this out one rotation two rotations and three rotations stop so that looks pretty cool but I know what some of you guys are saying already Bucky that is a cool repeating action but I'm too lazy to write this code a bunch of times what I really want is this code to repeat forever I want to write one line and I don't want to have to ever worry about it again I want that chick to spin forever and ever and ever well my friend have I got a treat for you what I'm gonna do here is change this to repeat forever did you guess that here's a little quiz for you maybe I'll uh, write I'll give you guys the answer at the end of this tutorial in what movie did the guy say forever ah, okay the answer is Sandlot cuz you know I'm definitely gonna forget at the end of the tutorial to give you the answer but anyways with that being said maybe uh, this will make some sense to you go ahead and press escape and look at all the parameters we can use now unlike the last one where time times was a parameter only action with action is a parameter in this one and you're saying alright why is that the case that's the case because when it repeats forever you don't have to give it a certain number of times to repeat it already knows repeat forever continuous so let's go ahead and save this and check this out when I press the button one two three four and this is going to keep going on forever and ever and ever non-stop until we you know close out a stimulator so that's the difference between repeat where you can give it a certain number of times and repeat forever where of course it does it forever so that'll definitely save you some trouble when you try to uh, repeat actions in your games so quit the iPhone stimulator and now what we want to do is this um, actually let's go ahead and get rid of this whole line and the next thing I want to teach you about is ease so actually let's it'll probably be better if we extend this animation by a second so keep your rotation animation and yeah get rid of that too pretty much start blank if you need to so anyways the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is ease so go ahead and make an action name it anything you want and go ahead and put CC ease and if you press escape you can see all these different E's you know bounce in bounce out the one you're probably going to be using the most is ease in out 
Now, what ease actions are, they're pretty much a more natural way for your animations to look on the screen. Let me give you guys a quick example. Whenever you're driving a car in, you know, how you begin, you accelerate by, you know, starting out slow, 5 miles an hour, then work your way up to 10, and then, you know, go to 65, 85, and then you slow down gradually. You don't, you know, all of a sudden you start your car and you're going 65 miles an hour. That would be very unnatural looking and definitely be very unsafe. So what ease actions do is they give you a natural way that things move around on the screen. And if you ever worked with like uh, Flash or any programs like that, um, pretty much every comp computer program has this with animation. Um, After Effects has it with Easy Ease. So anyways, people use this a lot whenever they do just about any animation, give it a more natural look. So enough with me rambling what ease actions are pretty much use acceleration and deceleration built in so what we need to do for this is uh... let's see right here action with action and rate the action with action is what action you want to ease in and the rate is it would be for this for example if this was a car action driving from zero to sixty five and then back down to zero if you put a rate of two maybe actually let's go ahead and put a rate of of three well forget everything i said in the last twenty seconds check this out if you gave it a rate of one it would hmm, this is really hard to explain without a graph but uh, the higher the rate the more powerful acceleration and deceleration this is really hard to explain without a graph and it's really easy to see without without a graph. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this. Alright, let's start out with a rate of 1. And go ahead and build this. And let's see. Oh yeah. Run action. Ease. This will be the way to teach you guys visually. I forgot I'm doing a tutorial where you guys can just watch what's going on. So remember, this has a rate of 1. And check this out. She starts out... I don't even know if that did it right there. Let's go ahead with a rate of 2. You can hardly even see. Alright, so what's going to happen is if we just run the rotate action normally, she rotates at all the same speed. But this time, she starts out going slow, then speeds up, then slows back down at the end. Kind of a more natural rotation. And now, that's with a rate of 2. Th think of this as the case. Instead of rate, think of it as power. Because if we did a rate by 7, this will be very clear. This will I was uh, kind of rambling, try to explain. But if we did a rate of seven, she starts out even slower, then speeds up faster in the middle, then goes even slower at the end. So you know, like I said, just substitute the word rate for power, and it'll make a whole lot of sense. I think that they probably use the word rate whenever they make in uh, this method because, um. Whenever whatever formula they use to make methods, it probably had rate in it somewhere, but you know, it doesn't really make sense when you're using it in a method. But anyways, rate is pretty much the power. Um, I don't know. You know, just play around with it. Enough of me talking. But the important thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, what ease is more natural ways to use actions. So, you know, 3 looks pretty good. Instead of spinning all at the same speed, if we set it to a rate of 3, it starts out slow, increases speed, and then decelerates at the end. So, you know, it took me like 20 minutes just to explain one line of code, but you know what? At least this, this tutorial is done now. So, thank you guys for watching. We are finally done with repeats and eases. I'm sorry I had to make you guys struggle through my terrible explanation of that, but you know what? At least I tried. That's all I can say. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions. Ask me on the forum. So uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, and I'll see you next tutorial.